Hey YouTubers, welcome back, and today I've got a special little surprise for you. I've got the BMC filter here for the Porsche Panamera. And any of you guys that uh, don't know about the, the BMC, this is uh, the Italian version of the uh, K&N Airflow filter, same thing pretty much. flip the camera around for you guys for a little better quality here uh, I actually picked this thing up strange enough for 160 bucks on Newegg.com uh, any of you guys that don't know anything about Newegg it's a it's a computer geek site man it's where we've been getting all of our cheap computer parts for years I was really surprised to see that they started selling other stuff and I was really surprised to find that the they had this for 40 50 bucks cheaper than everyone else. Uh, so I was a little skeptical at first. Uh, it actually came in two days. It was just like ordering it off of Amazon. And it, it's, it's the real deal. It's a legit certified uh, BMC air filter. Came with all the stickers and all the goodies. So uh, if you guys want to get a discount and save a little bit of money, uh, go over the new egg. Uh, I'm not sponsored or promoted or any of that kind of crap. I bought this myself, and I like to save money, so I'm going to share that with you guys. So uh, we're going to go out in the garage and uh, start tearing the bumper off and uh, get this thing replaced. All right, guys, not to get distracted too uh too awful bad here but I've got uh, I've got some more projects that just came in uh, we've got the, the new center caps here for the wheels uh, I took in uh, plasti dipped uh, the old ones and they're just wore out uh, those things uh, you can see the paints coming off of them there and man do these look so much better God, those are going to pop. So, uh, yeah. I actually got these on uh, Etsy for 39 bucks for a whole set. And, man, these are the quality is just really nice. Man, these, are, these are way better than what I expected. Uh, especially for 39 bucks. So, yeah, that's coming soon. Uh, we're doing air filter today. That's what this whole video is about. Sorry, this new little camera thing. Not used to it yet. And then uh, here we go. We've got uh, Pure Flow, uh, Pure Flow uh, cabin air filter. I'm going to be replacing it. And then uh, I actually got these. Let's open these up for you. Get the camera back over here where it belongs. <clears throat> These are my uh, door pillar uh, skin replacements. We're going to put these on and see if uh, I'll show you guys how ugly this is. If you can, can't really tell, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, just there we go. Yeah, you can just see this is all kind of looking a little nasty there on both sides. So we're gonna replace those too. I'll do a separate video on that though. All right, so we're gonna get back over here and uh, get working on this uh, removal of the bumper. So I'm just going to kind of focus here for now. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pop this off, which is real easy. You see people taking little tools and throwing them under and popping it off, but really you just grab it and pry up on it real easy. And this whole thing comes off fairly easy. Now, as you can see, somebody's had this bumper off uh, probably quite a few times. 
Uh, I actually do plan on replacing this bumper. It's messed up over here on the corner a little bit, you know, and it just looks like shit. So uh, I'm going to start by removing these, and I'm not going to tell you what they are because I know that this isn't uh, what was in their factory. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a socket, probably 10 millimeter, and uh, get rolling. So pretty much uh, what I think happened on this this car, uh, somebody somebody ran into something down here. You can see they hit the uh, the bottom of the bumper just a little bit, and it went through the. Uh, it had to be replaced. The radiator had to be replaced. So that's what uh, tells me. You know, they went under here. They hit the radiator. They busted up. Uh, this is uh, what you need to take off when you want to do your oil change and as you can see it was it was ripped up there I had to drill out a bolt uh, I've got a new one of these coming from a Porsche dealership up in Ohio this cost me about 80 bucks so if you guys got air suspension make sure you uh, make sure you use that button to hike the car up whenever you're going over stuff because you will tear some shit up quick all right, so you've got two little pins over here that uh, connect. So we're gonna slide these out. So we've got those slid out. I'm gonna go to the trunk and uh, grab the tool. There's a special tool that you need to uh, remove these. Actually, you don't even need it. Hell, I just did it by finger. So that's how you uh, pull your lights out. You've got uh, two little connectors back there, which I'll show you these. And you got like a little vacuum connector, and then you just got your uh, electrical connector there. So uh, that's how you pull your lights out. You're gonna set these off to the side. All you do is uh, slide them forward once you have it un undone in there. This, uh, this one's going to be replaced. I plan on doing the, uh, the retrofit kit for the lights anyways. Uh, but the cool thing is, instead of spending 800 uh, or more, uh, you can actually get a replacement. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a video on these for 160 bucks. Uh, we're going to replace both the lens. We're going to go in and uh, black out the interior. We're going to do the retrofit on the lights. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue here.
All right, guys. So uh, we got this thing dropped, and really, it, it was really easy. Other than the fact somebody has done this a couple times, and they just didn't put shit back together or something. So <clears throat> there's a couple screws here and there that uh, probably shouldn't be. And that's another reason I'm just going to go ahead and get a new bumper for this thing because this, this thing's been Frankensteined. So now that we've got the uh, bumper moved off here, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, unscrew these so we can pull this out. So we're going to grab us a Phillips, or I'm sorry, we're going to use a straight. Just going to loosen these up. Okay, we've got both of those removed now. now we're going to grab our. Uh, so we're going to grab the T30 and go in here and remove these. over here a little closer just so you can see what I'm doing here uh, you got one here you got one here here and here these are all t30s you're gonna pull those out to pull the air box out we've already taken the uh, intake pipes off Gonna grab us a Phillips screwdriver and just undo all of these to get into the filter.
just a little interesting how these uh, are coming out here. single one of these are breaking. <clears throat> huh. I don't understand that. They're all rusted out. <clears throat> okay, so that is not good. Means I'm gonna have to replace and dig out a bunch of these. Uh, for some reason, they have rusted. Yeah, all of them are rusted. One thing I can tell you is uh, this definitely needs replaced. All right, guys, we're back here. Got the new air filter, we can slap it in here. Just gonna wipe everything down real quick. So if you guys saw this earlier, all of these rusted somehow, somehow, some way. So I'm going to throw some self-tappers in there for now, and then I'm going to have to order a new one. I drilled them out the best I could. good enough.
Okay. Back this out. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this uh, bumper back on. Alright, guys, if uh, you made it this far, we're pretty much right here at the end of our uh, teardown. Everything else is going to be the same in reverse, uh, so you really don't have to watch the rest if you don't want to. I appreciate uh, you guys coming and checking my video out. I uh, really hope that uh, this helped you guys uh, move forward to do this on your own because uh, $1,800 versus $160 is uh, a lot of money to put in your pocket, so everyone likes to save money. Uh, Alright guys, uh, please hit that subscribe button. These videos are kind of a pain in the butt to do, but uh, I appreciate any of your support and uh, I'll see you on the next one.
All right, guys, there you have it. We have installed our air filter. Got our own put back together. All right, so we made it to the end of the video here. Uh, we got the air filter installed. Got everything all put back together. Uh, so one last thing that I like to do, I like to come into the maintenance guide here, and you can see uh, we've added the BMC air filter, got a uh, pure flow cabin filter that I'm installing as well. You can catch that in another video. But uh, this is a good way to keep your records, man. I know it says, you know, dealer stamp and all that good stuff, but you did it, you know you did it. This, this can be used for you too. So that's it, guys. If you like my video, please subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, I got to tell you, these uh, YouTube videos, man, these guys out here are doing it. Uh, they're working really hard to get this done. I've got quite a few videos that are just sitting because uh, it's it's just hard to uh, get in there and edit these things and get them right and get them out there. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this helped you out. And uh, yeah, thanks.